Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print with Orca slicers using the KO Max and the CFS. Let's scratch to this topic. I just 3D printed this Benchy with the KO Max using Orca slicers, which I never thought that was possible because when using Orca slicer, when you send the print to the 3D printer, it does not have the option for you to choose which color you want on your KO Max on your 3D printer. And when it changes color, it just pause and it does not change color. The 3D printer just pause waiting for you to press continue, resume, or change the film yourself. But I found a way to fix that and just automate everything using the CFS, basically just like using Creality Print, but Orca slicers. And what is best about this is that you can just directly send the print over to your K1 Max or any 3D printers that you have. Maybe I'm not sure. I just have tested on the K1 Max and it works and it will know which color to use for printing. I'm going to show you how to print something like this with multicolor. Well, obviously the print quality is not the best here, but it works. Everything works great. Look at that. Green here, white there, orange there brown everywhere it works it works and yeah let's just get started we are in orca slicer i'm going to be using the k1 max so what do we do here well first we select our 3d printer the k1 max and then click this pencil box right here edit the presets so first what you want to look at is the machine g code that is very important the machine start g code you can leave this at default here it is perfectly fine if we scroll down here before layer change that is fine layer change everything is fine but right here change filament g code this is pause so that's the command for changing filament and it's just gonna pause so that's why you cannot do multicolor 3d printing with the cable max if you have the cfs upgrade so what i do is i go on to creality print and it will pop up here in one second okay here we have creality print right here so what you want to do is select the same 3d printer in this case the k1 max click the pencil right here go on to machine g code right here for creality on the k1 max machine start g code is like this but we don't really need to change this because the default on orca work we can go down go down all the way to change filament g code as you can see here it has this G code in here. So what you want to do is copy this. So control C for copy, or you can right click and copy. Go back to Orca Slicers, delete this and paste it here. You need to paste this G code right here for the K1 Max or all the 3D printers that you are using in order for multicolor printing to work. Everything else, just leave it the same. Let's go on to multi material right here. And another setting that you must change is right here, manual filament change. On default, it's enabled, so you have to manually change the filament. But for this, we don't want to manually change. We want the CFS to change. So we need to disable this, uncheck that. And that is basically it. You need to change two settings right there in order for multicolor printing to work on the K1 Max. So we can close out of that. And then the next thing that we need to do is add more filament. So we come to filament right here, click the plus button, one, two, three, four. You need to select the same color as what you have on your 3D printer, in this case, the K1 Max. So for the KO Max, I have the first color as brown and the second as green. So you can do this if you want. If not, you can just leave the color at default and just print. But if you want it to be exact, you can change all of these to however you want. And the last one I believe is orange. So we have all the colors that we wanted there. The next thing that you want to do is add a model. So we're going to just add a 3D benching in there. So we have added the 3D benching here and Go on to the tools up here, click your model, go to the tool, color painting. You can just paint however you want. I'm going to select green and then use the height range and just color about this much. Then for the green again, just like that. This is not the same color arrangement as I did on the first benchy that I showed you earlier. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it. And look at that. We have our benchy multicolor right here. And now if you have your 3D printers connected via the connection here, uh, type in your IP address right here. I'm not sure if unrooted 3D printers Cable Max are able to do this, but for my Cable Max, I have rooted the 3D printer. If we click here, you can see the IP address for my Cable Max right there. 
and if we go to slice plate click print you can just click upload and print or upload right here so for me i'm just gonna click upload and print and it's just gonna do its magic so that's everything that you need to do in order for you to multicolor print on the k1 max or 3d printers that has multicolor printing capability and you want to use orca slicer that's how I do it for my printer. Okay, quick recording here. I got my benchy all set up, all the painting that I want. So I got all of the colors that I wanted. Well, these aren't exactly the same color as the one on my CFS. It's totally fine, the color here. If you want to, you can match it. If you don't want to, you can just leave it here. Um, for this purpose, I'm just gonna leave it there. I slice this and now I'm gonna click print and come down here upload and print i'm just gonna click upload and print now my kill max is moving it's working and yes look at this i don't know my screen on my kill max died like a couple days ago i don't know why but it works so it's gonna do its printing now as you can see right here it's using the first lot it's blinking and it's brown and look at that it's printing the brown pla so let's wait until the next color change which is right now so now it's doing the color change it just cuts the filament and it's retracting the first slot now it's gonna do the purge the second one is gonna go blinky right now look at that it's extruding coming over here on my amazing connector right there now it's gonna purge just look at this there we go. It just poop. Look at that. It's so messy. And now it's gonna resume printing. Look at that. Not the cleanest transition, but it works great. So let's keep this going. As you saw there, you need to change a couple settings inside the 3D printer setting in order to make this work. Changing filament without having the 3D printer to pause and you have to manually change the film yourself or click resume, you need to change the machine G code for changing filament. There's no option for you to select which color you want. Like you can switch out color, you have to have the color exactly how you have on your 3D printer. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I just recently rooted my K1 Max. So I don't know if unrooted 3D printer, specifically the K1 series or the K1 Max I might, can send the print directly from Orca to the 3D printer. I think it can, but I'm not 100% sure. If it can, that is amazing. You don't have to root your 3D printer. But other than that, it works great. And many more of Orca Slicer's feature for me to test in the future videos. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. If you still have any questions, leave a like on this video. Become a member of the YouTube channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing.